Hello YouTube, my name is Marie and today is the day. In my early August wrap up, I mentioned that I was watching Airs and that I had two episodes left in Airs and that I would do a full review on Airs once I finished. I decided that if I was going to stay true to my word and actually do some sort of video on Airs, then it would just have to be an incomplete viewing because I'm not going to finish it. And just a heads up for you guys, I didn't script this video. It either will be really long and rambly because I don't know what I'm going to say. We'll just see what happens to come out of my mouth. <laughs> or it'll be super quick because I'll have to edit everything out. So who knows? Who knows what this is going to be? So if by chance you don't know what Airs is about, Airs is about a girl who is and I know it had to do with like high society and like a normal commoner getting in there, you know. I think most people would remember this show as a love triangle between the commoner girl and the illegitimate son of a major corporation and then another rich dude. Yes, but she is not important. The female lead really has no real characterization. She exists for the purpose of the two men to fight over her for, which I found really disappointing. And it didn't become apparent that that's what she was until like the later half. Not to say that the people that are fighting over her are not interesting, because if this was marketed more as rivalry between two young men, I think it really succeeds in that respect. I thought a lot of their interactions were really interesting and engaging, and they have quite a bit of growth together, like as a unit. <laughs> Everything else is quite good or passable. The music, the soundtrack, is both ridiculous and wonderful at the same time because they use this like electric guitar rift when it's used in moments of weight it works really well and i was impressed at the high stakes that the show did have like people do fight and, and then other times they throw it in when like characters are just like staring at each other from across the way and i'm like you're taking yourself way too seriously so let's talk about the acting, which is phenomenal. I think everyone did a spectacular job. I can't think of anything I would do differently. Even the female lead, who character I think is really lacking, the actress did a really wonderful job with what she was given. Like, okay, I feel like I'm running through my ideas really quickly. So I talked about the flat characters. I talked about the rivalry. Um, oh, let's talk quick about the romance. Because I also thought that was kind of lacking. The best moments of the romance happen within like the first handful of episodes, in my opinion, when they meet overseas in America. I thought the beginning was just really engaging and entertaining and I found myself incredibly surprised. My expectations were raised from the scenes that they're in America because I was like, this is actually really good. I like the interactions and it makes sense, you know, this sort of setup for like star-crossed lovers, like two people from different socio-economic ranges, I guess, um, it does make sense in this respect of how they meet because the people you can interact with when you're overseas who speak your, the same language, you know, it gets smaller. So it does, I do like the setup a lot. I just, I guess I'm just really, really disappointed in the progression that the female lead took being nothing. And who knows, maybe if I had stuck it out and watched the, the finale of the show, I'd be happily surprised, but the writing and the drama flip-flopped so much. I feel like we repeated things and just didn't move forward fast enough. I think this show could easily lose three episodes and I didn't even watch all of it. So the, the pacing's not there at all. It's, it's too long. Um, the side characters, 
are pretty forgettable. Really the only ones that have sticked with me since like watching it, which was several weeks ago. Like I didn't watch anything more after my August wrap up. So that's how long it's been are definitely the two male leads. They are the standouts and I just really enjoyed them. The beginning, basically nothing else. What is my overall rating for airs? Keeping in mind that I did not watch the last two episodes, but to me that's okay. I am not gonna force myself to watch something that I am no longer enjoying. 2.75 to three out of five stars. That is everything for me. I'm glad I finally sat down to watch this and I'm gonna edit it and put it up today so that <laughs> I can get it off my mental to-do list. Have a good day, have a good night, bye.